In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 Hollywood villains that wear and see legend in the movie industry. If you are new to this channel, my name is Steve and welcome on board. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel before leaving and turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I post new videos. Do well to invite your friends too. Let's get back into the main course. It is usually said that a great movie hero needs a great villain. It is also worthy to note that, usually, the villain often steals the show in a great movie. And this is because a villain often has great dialogues that is full of traits and creative insults as she or she will be more dramatic, which leads to some amazing performances. A lot of times, the viewers often find themselves drawn to these villain characters, sometimes preferring them to the movie's good guys. Other times, they are simply so perfectly evil that they command so much respect. In an industry where typecasting is majorly predominant, in no particular order, well, here is a list of some of Nollywood's most notorious villains. Number 1. Margaret Daly Olayinka Talented Nollywood actress who stars majorly in Yoruba movies, Margaret Daly Olayinka, popularly called Iya Bonka, became famous for her roles as a powerful, mean, unforgiving, and selfish aged woman. She is also known for her scary appearances whenever she plays her witch roles. She has featured in many evergreen movies and TV series. Her natural physique aided and befitted all her wicked rules. She hit the spotlight in the early 70s when her first acting career was recorded during the legendary Ifa Olukun's TV series by Payemi Elebu's Bone. She became a character to look out for when she acted Olori Emere in late Afaji Yekini Ajiele's groundbreaking movie Koto Orun. She has since become a sensation from wicked and witch rules. Number 2. Alex Osifo Multiple award-winning Hollywood actor Alex Osifo, or Miyagbo, has featured prominently in movies as a bad guy in almost all his entire roles. He is notable for playing the role of the person that teaches everyone else how to fish from the river of money rituals. Alex Osifo was born in Lagos to Mr. Barnabas and Mrs. Patricia Anobi Omiagbo. His father worked with the Central Bank of Nigeria at different branches in the country and rose to a managerial level before retirement. After a few years in Lagos, they moved to the city of Ibadan, where Alex had his basic and primary education. He completed his secondary education at St. John's Bosco's Coast Grammar School, Ubiaja, Edo State. Following his graduation from high school, he soon became independent and started working at NTA Benin then Midwest Television. It was part of the crew that covered First Tax 77 for Bond, that is, Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria. After five years of very active service at NTA Benin, he gained admission into SS Peter and Paul Major Seminary, Bodija Ibadan, in 1978 to be trained for the Catholic priesthood. Number 3. Sambasa Nzeribi Chiedozie Nzeribi Zistus, aka Sambasa, is gradually becoming a suitable choice for villain roles in Hollywood movies. He made his debut in the Nollywood movie scene in 2013. His character in the award winning movie, Imai from Home, was a huge influence on the type of roles we have seen him perfectly interpret in subsequent films such as Tattoo, The Wedding Party, and Slow Country. He won prestigious AMVCA in the Best Supporting Actor category for his role as Ghetto in the movie, A Soldier's Story. Number 5. Patience Oseni Veteran Hollywood actress, Patience Oseni is another Hollywood character known for her evil roles in movies. She started her acting career in 1995, when she first starred in the movie Deadly Passion, but gained prominence in the late 90s, with her role in the movie End of the Wicked where she acted a witch and a mother-in-law who grew a penis with which she rapes her daughter-in-law. Before her demise, Patience Oseni also featured in Eat of the Moment, Wally Adenuga's Super Story series and a host of other movies. She died on Monday, February 17, 2020, in Calabar, Cross River State. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Number 4. Patience Ozokwo Patience Ozokwo, aka Mama G, is no doubt one of Nollywood's villain personified. There's virtually no one who knows how to play the role of an evil, wicked mother, mother in law, or wife more than her. 
She's gifted in playing the character of an evil woman who derives pleasure in physically intimidating and spiritually manipulating her victims so well. Ozoko was born in the village of Amoobo, Ngwo, in present-day Enugu State, Nigeria, and attended Abimbola Gibson Memorial School in Lagos. Ozoko had a passion for acting since she was at primary school, where she would act in different stage plays. She later attended the Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu, where she obtained a degree in Fine and Applied Arts. Before starting as an actress, she was already a star before acting and first made it into radio drama. Number 6. Camila Mberekwe Famous for playing wicked roles in movies, talented Nollywood actress Camila Mberekwe is one known for acting wicked witch roles one of which opened her doors to fame and earned her a nomination for the Best Actress in a Supporting Role at the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. Camila Mberekbe is a famous Nollywood actress and a television personality known for playing wicked roles in movies. She was born on the 29th April 1960 in Enugu State in the southeastern part of Nigeria. She's currently 60 years old. She's very beautiful, creative, skillful, gifted and talented in acting and interpretation of her movie roles. Number 7. Chiwe Talagu Apart from being funny and famous for its usage of specific language slang, phrases or cliches in movies, Chiwe Talagu is pretty popular for playing villainous roles, especially those which involve killing his brother in order to inherit his land, properties and even his wife. He is also known for his roles as an evil village uncle or elder who is capable of causing havoc in a village. His usage of specific language slang, phrases or cliches in each film has made him uniquely a household name in Nigeria and among Nollywood admirers abroad. While asserting that comic genres is a unique vehicle in projecting Nigerian culture globally as well as establishing the Nollywood brand, Agu is listed as one of the outstanding comedians who have contributed to the development of Nollywood comic genres by Professor Femi Shaka of the University of Port Harcourt. Number 8. Kanayo Okanayo, veteran Nollywood actor Anayo Modestus Onyerekwe, popularly called Kanayo Okanayo, rose to fame for playing the role of a ritualist, court member, or a wicked uncle. Kanayo became popular for playing the role of a wealthy man whose main source of wealth is true blood money. A regular occultist will recruit his friends into the court without telling them the repercussions of their actions. In 1992, Kanayo made his debut movie appearance in the film, Living in Bondage. Kanayo has starred in over 100 movies. He is currently a United Nations ambassador and bears the title of MFR Kanayo, along with Kenneth Nemboe, producer of Living in Bondage, Olu Jacobs, Enoch Adeboye, Queen Elizabeth, and Fela Kuti, were among Nigerians honored by the government in 2014 during the centenary celebration. Number 9. Pete Edoche Nollywood legend and star actor Pete Edoche became famous for his evil roles as an evil king, father, husband, uncle, or a courtist. He became a symbol of evil and the occult, who would stop at nothing to do anything for money and power or until he achieved his wicked plans. In 2005, the Actors Guild of Nigeria placed Pete Edoche and several other actors, including Genevieve Nanji, Omotala Jaled Ekende, Nkem Owu, Ramsey Noah, Stella Damasos Abodering, and Richard Mofe Damijo on a one-year ban from filming after they were said to have been collecting huge fees from producers due to their A-list celebrity status. The ban placed on these celebrities was seen as doom in the Nigerian film business, but currently, the actors are back in filming. Number 10. Emeka Ani Nollywood actor Emeka Ani is a known figure who undoubtedly interprets his role as a ritualist or herbalist perfectly. He started his acting career in the 90s. He embodies the image of an occult leader, a role he played mostly in movies. Last Wedding, 666. Beware the end is at hand. Signs of End Time 2. Evil Melody. Adoration Power and Cash and Carry are just a few of the films in which Annie plays the familiar character to perfection. In 1989, a maker was selling motor spare parts at Onicha, Anambra State, in his shop when he was approached by a director that was shooting a movie in a nearby place, 
close to where he is. He told him his looks was like that of a chief, that he would like him to play a role in his movie. And he agreed, and that was it. The first movie he starred in is titled Betrayer. This makes the list of today's video. If there are any other famous Nollywood antagonists we couldn't add to this list, please do well to list them below in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video and do well to share this video so other persons can watch too. Thank you and peace out.